but Batman versus the Ninja Turtles. When was this something you and James came up with together? Did James have an idea for it? And then he reached out to you because he liked your artwork or how did, how did you guys kind of meet up for this, this project? Yeah. Um, James and I had not met each other before Batman Ninja Turtles. That's what brought us together. Um, but I had, I knew independently that there was supposed to be some sort of crossover with DC and IDW, like um, Bobby, who was the editor at, at IDW on the Turtles, um, who just recently left uh, IDW. He's about yeah. to go. He, he just went freelance, but I mean, he's been with the Turtles for 12 years or so, you know, something like that. Yep. Yeah. And, um, and has done a great job. I worked with Bobby a lot, but at that time I was still early in my relationship with him. He told me that there was, um, there, there might be some crossovers that IDW and, and DC were going to do together. And he didn't say specifically Batman, but he just said, you know, the turtles might cross over with DC. And since you've done so much work with DC, you, you might be a good fit for that kind of thing. But that was like two years before it happened. Um, it was like just a thing they were talking about. <clears throat> and I know from experience that there's, when you get two large intellectual properties and two big companies, it's very easy for business discussions to, you know, derail uh, the agreement and then it just gets canceled or something. So for a couple of years, I just thought it was going to be canceled. Then I had seen a crossover announcement of uh, Star Trek and Green Lantern on Twitter. And my, my editor, Jim, Chadwick, who was my editor at the time, was the one who tweeted it. So I contacted him, sent him some artwork and said, I would uh, send him links to my Ninja Turtle artwork and links to some Conan pages I had done. I said, I, I would love to draw. If you guys are looking for an artist for some crossover with the Turtles and Batman, I suggested that because it seemed like a natural fit. Um, I would love to be the artist. And here's these, these links uh, to my artwork. Um, well, you know, independently and unbeknownst to me, um, they had already, they as an IDW and, and DC had already agreed to do a Batman and Ninja Turtles crossover, had already, were, was already talking to James about um, if he would be the writer and what sort of ideas. Uh, basically, when they choose a writer, they say, well, give me like a handful of pitch ideas that of storyline directions you might want to go in and then they'll, they'll pick it or something. Um, but all that stuff happens without me. I'm usually approached, the artist is usually approached as almost one of the last facets of the crossover or something. Um, so I happened to be messaging Jim Chadwick at like the perfect time. And he even said that they were, they as a, you know, at the DC offices were discussing who would be the artist that they would like to draw this. I sent him an email, it came in on the right day and he joking, he joked with me and said that they were saying in the office, I must've been psychic because it was like perfect timing. And I had, I never have good timing or I don't think I do. Uh, that was like the best timing of my life. And that's how I got pick, uh, picked up for the artist for Batman Ninja Turtles, which has totally changed my career and the trajectory of the type of work I get to draw and stuff. It's, it's totally helped me. Um, it's been the, the luckiest, you know, stroke of luck in my life, I guess. So I, then after I was, so 2015, they announced it at San Diego Comic-Con. I'd only drawn two pieces of artwork at that time. And then that was when I made, uh, I met James, at, you know, the first time was at that show. And then we, you know, I, he was just CCing me on emails of outlines and stuff like that. So that's how we got connected. I don't know how specifically he got connected, but that's how I got connected with him and the story and stuff. Um, so very much it was a, uh, you know, me falling into the lap of this situation then going, oh, I have, I've quantum leaped into a really awesome situation. Let me try to make the best of it and <laughs> hope I don't mess this up, you know? So 